Hello cookbook friends. Today we're going to be looking at Crave. This is by Karen Akonowitz. Akonowitz. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced this. She is from Top Chef and I did not recognize her. I read through this briefly and I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'm really excited to see her cooking techniques, the recipes she's created. So here's briefly what this cookbook looks like on the inside. It's pretty vibrant, lots of color, lots of cool photos as well. So if you are a photo oriented person, this might be the perfect cookbook for you. So let's look at the table of contents real fast. Here we go. It's pretty standard. So we have, you know, sauces and, and pantry staples in the very beginning. And then we move on to like your mains, apps, soups, and then of course, like desserts, of course, the best chapter. So here, some photos. Let's look through this a little bit. Here we have different kinds of ingredients, things that maybe you're not, you or me are not familiar with. Like uh, I've never heard of a colatura di alici. <laughs> it's a antro anchovy drippings. So go ahead and read all of this. Um, especially it'll be there in case you run into it during a recipe and you're like, I don't know what that is. And then you can go refer back to the front. Here we go. So we have pickled cherries, beautiful colors. So here we have a description of the recipe where you can actually use this in. Here is our ingredients. Then we have our directions. And then in here, some of these recipes have extra tips, uh, advice, things, you know, for storage or keeping them. So lots of cool stuff here. Make sure to read through the whole thing. All right. Here is a tomato salad. Very pretty. I, I'm not a huge fan of everything being tomato, so I'm not sure if I would have this, but it looks beautiful. Grilled broccoli Caesar salad. That looks awesome. In case you don't want lettuce again, you can just have it with broccoli. That's kind of nice. We have garlicky white bean dip. This would be great. Halloween's coming up. I know I'm kind of on the lookout for some really good apps and stuff like that. Dips. I might try this one out. Let's move on. Here's our awesome chef. We have mozzarella in carozo, caro, carroza. I've never heard of that. So it means in a carriage in Italian. Ooh, it's oh, cheesy, delicious. Oh, it looks like mozzarella sticks, but better. Here we go. This is a pangrattato, crunchy lemony breadcrumbs. You could probably put this on, you know, all kinds of stuff, salads, pastas, um, other kinds of mains to get a little crunch or even some of that lemon zest, which would be really tasty. Here's some more information about it, which is pretty handy. We also have just some extra tidbits about our author throughout and cooking tips. Uh, Harissa marinated olives. Another really awesome snack you can have during the holiday season. And it's pretty simple, as you can see. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a, let me find it again. This is a sweet green curry with clams and cod. Beautiful bowl. All right, so we also have here grilled Romano beans with cherry pepper vinaigrette. I honestly, like this would be a great substitute for me at least for Thanksgiving time because we always have green beans and I'm sure everybody does but this would be a really interesting change and I know it's not the same these are Romano beans but they're really pretty you still get that greenery but it's like more fun I don't know roasted chicken thighs with mahumara another one that I need to try over the weekend oh okay carby and starchy bread dumplings and pasta well this chapter is going to be an immediate favorite. Uh, we have a focaccia, yum, stuffed focaccia, corn cakes with hot and sweet syrup and feta. Another really good kind of like savory and a little sweet. You could do this for breakfast or a side. We get step-by-step -step photos for some of these. This is homemade pasta, which is amazing. Oriachet or oriachetti with sausage and broccoli rabe. Let's move on a little forward. Lamb asubuco with harissa and ginger gremolata. This looks beautiful. This would be definitely a weekend kind of dish. Saffron risotto. Grilled whole fish with pepperonata. 
Wow. That's awesome. I've always wanted to make a whole grilled fish before. It seems really intimidating, but it's just one of those things I want to at least do one time in my life. Uh, here's our dessert section. Polenta cake with soft cream and strawberries. Instant favorite in my family for sure. Here we have an orange bro blossom dreamsicle. Another instant favorite for us. And then one more. Ooh, Pizzelle ice cream sandwiches. This is cute. And these are really thin wafers. Very cool. So if you are looking for a really fun cookbook, there's a lot of fusion stuff, classics. Really, I mean, some of the even the classics that I thought would be really intimidating, they look fairly easy to put together. So check out Crave. It's really fun, and I love the tips that she provides. These are pretty great. If you're looking for other cookbooks, especially like Top Chef or Celebrity Cookbooks, make sure to check out our other playlists. We do have a ton of other cookbooks that might help you out. Make sure to join us on our socials, on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. If you are a cookbook lover like us, make sure to follow, subscribe, like. Let us know what kind of cookbooks you want us to look through next time. And thank you so much for your support.